Hi, it's Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo. I'm at a super secret location today. It's Thursday, the day the Nikon Z9 has launched. And this is a camera that many of us have been waiting for. And we're super stoked and super surprised by a number of things. Number one, the price, $54.99. Oh my gosh, that's a great price for a camera like this. Number two, by the feel of it. If you've taken a, a digital SLR, put a battery grip on it, or one of the built-in grip cameras, it feels the same, but it's a fraction the weight. And I just want to give you guys a comparison, right? So this was brought to my attention. This is one of the early digital cameras. $25,000 this cost. And it's about three times heavier than the Nikon Z9. So we don't realize how lucky we have it today to have a camera that looks and feels like this. I really love the grip, standard grip, vertical grip, door for the two compact flash express cards, which I am, you wanna see that again? Right, come on, right there, two compact flash express cards, which I am really excited about. I know a, not, a lot of you are saying, oh, a new memory card, this is the best memory card that's ever been made, gang. This is the card you need, and you need a relatively new, high-speed, amazing memory card to get 20 frames per second compressed raw out of this camera. Awesome. 4K video 120. 4K video 120 for two hours and a little bit more. 8K video 30. I can't believe it. You know, 100,000, 102,000 ISO, 64 ISO minimum, all that cool stuff. But you know what I really love about this? Using it for the first time? The way it focuses. So here we are in low light and the focus is snappy and quick. It locks in and works. The viewfinder on the back is giant. And we have the new double swivel screen so you can go any way you want it. That's right. In this day and age, going any way you want is the way you need to be. And the Z9 does that. I also like the controls on the back. It's a great hybrid between the Z7 feel and the D5, D6 feel. So for those of you who are familiar with those cameras, the way the, 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 the setup is, is really great. You know, one of my things with a camera is I want my camera to be hands, excuse me, where I can set it with my eyes closed. So here, I'm gonna set the mode, I'm gonna set the aperture, the shutter speed, the ISO, the exposure compensation, all that stuff that I do all the time is in the same spot. You'll notice that the I button is just the same as it is on the Z7, but with some great new additions. So you've got the new focusing features for human, pet, animal, cars, birds, caterpillars, flowers, all that kind. No, of course not. But it's got all that kind of autofocus stuff. And even one of the things I was most excited about, it's got automatic switching autofocus so that it'll sense, oh, this is a person, this is an animal, this is a race car. I mean, you think about it, is that hard for you to decide? No, but for a camera to automatically switch and lock on focus, Amazing, you know, with the 3D autofocus and the tracking, I'm very excited to see how this camera performs out in the field. We're still a couple weeks away from that. This is a prototype camera. I'm not able to shoot pictures with it and share them with you, but we're shooting pictures of the camera. You notice I also brought the Z7 along so you guys can see it's, the camera is about the same size and thickness as the Z7, but it just doesn't have the battery grip on it. So that gets, leads me to the battery, right? You've got the new ENEL 18D battery that's gonna give performance beyond anything anybody really needs. I'm looking forward to shooting with this in Africa or at a sporting event where I can go all day and not have to worry about changing batteries. That's the whole point of the new bigger battery. Now it does mean we need to carry a different charger and a different battery. And for those of you with older batteries, you're probably gonna wanna upgrade those but we're spending $5,000 on a new camera. It's time to upgrade the memory cards and the batteries, guys. 
It's time to get new, everything new to get the max performance out of this. I can't wait to get out and shoot with it. You, know, you see here the 24 to 70 lens. You know, released today also the 24 to 120 for those of you who want a little bit more range, willing to sacrifice an f-stop to get a little bit more range for your walk around lens, and the long awaited 100 to 400 lens. I can't tell you how many customers have asked me, Mark, when are they gonna come with a 100 to 400? Because they're gonna do 24 to 70 or 24 to 105, and then 100 to 400 and have a great kit like that. All this stuff is gonna be available by the end of the year, we're hoping. You know, we don't know these days with the way the supply chain and transportation's going, but the real thing is you've gotta get your order in. You can't wait and show up on Christmas Eve and say, I want my new Nikon, because I won't be able to sell you one. All the cameras we're getting this year are probably gonna be pre-sold. They're gonna be pre-ordered, the cameras and the lenses as well pre-ordered by people who are ordering today and tomorrow. So come on down to Paul's Photo, give me a call, or go to paulsphoto.com. We'll talk more about the Z9. I'm very excited about it. And this is gonna be my next camera, and I can't wait to take it out and really put it through its paces. Don't forget, November 2nd, we've got Tom Hogan talking about his thoughts on the Nikon Z9, and on November 7th, Michelle Valberg, she had a chance to shoot with this in the field doing wildlife and portrait photography. She is over the moon with how this camera worked as a game changer in her, in her life. Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, come on down, let's get out, let's take a picture and have some fun with Nikon Z9.